today we're going to be opening up 12 months worth, one entire year's worth of this mystery art subscription box by Scrawler Box. You know you haven't been out for a while when you get a call from the post office telling you that you have 23 packages at your P.O. box that you've not picked up in a year. Hi, how are you? My name's Chloe, I'm a disaster. Uh, yeah, well technically, you know what, I'm not a disaster. Basically, I have, I didn't go anywhere last year and this year I'm limiting what I do. Still, because there's a lot of germs in post offices, people like to kind of breathe each other's farts in post offices, don't they? It's just like, oh yes, can I get any closer to you? But I got a random call from this lady in like April of this year. Um, I'm guessing my phone number is obviously attached to my PO box and she goes, hi, is this Chloe? Yes. This is that woman that's normally quite mean to you at the post office. How are you doing? I I'm good, how are you? So the people here wanna get rid of your packages. Uh, you have a lot here. I didn't know I was receiving any package. I've got packages. Yeah, you have 23 packages packages and you know your PO box is like that big. She literally walked out with three massive containers filled with 23 packages and I didn't realize that all this time Arteza had been sending me a ton of packages of art supplies and I was gonna open these alongside this entire year's worth of scroller box that was also sent to me. But you know, I asked on my community tab and a lot of you said 23 packages was probably way too much. So we'll open these Arteza ones in another video if you wanna, if you wanna see, if you wanna see that, feel free to thumbs the video up and let me know. Thank you so much, first of all, to Scrawlerbox for sending me these packages. It was very, very kind of you to be doing this. I'm so sorry that I've not shown them on my social media or even opened them. I would really, really like to do an art supply giveaway for one of you um, because I don't need this many art supplies. I've got everything that I need. Um, I might keep, you know, obviously some, some things that I like in here, but overall I have too many art supplies for one person. So I would like to do a giveaway to one of you. So if you would like to win this giveaway, give this video a thumbs up up and leave a comment down below telling me out of all of these boxes which one was your favorite and if you watch till the end of the video you'll see the supplies that I am giving away and if you'd like an extra chance at winning follow me over on Instagram at art of Chloe Rose or instagram.com slash art of Chloe Rose I'll make a post there and when I do feel free to like that and comment on it but yes for now I think it's about time we get started opening our 12 months worth of scroller box art supplies and let's get started okay so I actually don't have a clue which order any of these boxes go into so I'm just gonna basically open them at random and you can really just see what's inside and the quality of the actual boxes themselves so starting off with this one this is from at some point last year so inside this one ooh, this is nice so this is how this one looks very nicely packaged they always do a really good job of getting everything inside of these small boxes because this is actually a British art subscription box brand that ships over from the UK so they're very very clever in how they ship international boxes we have Oh, they have Poskas in here. Okay, this is really nice. I love the color options they've got here. They've got a bunch of Poskas. Let's just move this out of the way. So we have a coral Posca. We also have a aqua green Posca and a lavender Posca. These colors together are actually, this is like one of my favorite color combinations too. And this looks like it's from the September 2020 box. Um, we also have a black Posca marker and a white Posca marker. <gasps> No, this is so cool. They, okay, is this, I hope this is a, th a thing with the scroller box. I can't even get my words out. They've put in a drumstick, which this is a British sweet or candy if you're American. Because if you're American and you want to try out some British candy and sweets and stuff, this would be an amazing thing that they do. It's been sat there for so long that it's like melted itself because I had it in my garage. Okay, so next up they have a 2B pencil by Stetler a Faber-Castell Echo Pigment Marker, a little sticker, and then they have a scrawler Zine. They do a beautiful job of like their, the graphics and their, their zines they put together. They look really, really good. They often feature artists and have featured artwork like this. Like that is so cute. So we've got this little piece of artwork. Also get an A5 marker sketch pad, perfect for Poscas. And it's actually a scrawler box exclusive with, with Sparzo Zip. SP0, I don't know, is that the artist? Next up, we have the second box, which is also from a month that is unknown to me. Okay, so we have this inside. 
Okay, so this is a very marker heavy box. I remember from last time they have a lot of markers and things like that. A Swizzles Refresher Sour Apple. We have a lot of these Faber-Castell Pit markers, I think they're called, yeah, Pit Artist Brush Pens. We have Scarlet Red, Sky Blue, and also May Green. We have a, what is this? I have never seen one of these before. Oh, it's a Uniball Signo. Yes, I've seen one of these before, Never mind. Um, just a gel stick. So it's basically a gel pen. Okay, so this is a Uni Pin Fine Line Water Fade and Pigment ink. Then we have a Derwent Graphic 2B pencil and a Uni Pin Fine Line Water Fade and Pigment ink in black. And they look like that. Kind of like a micron pen. And then we have another Zine here, Scrawler Zine from March 21. Here's the featured artist. Another piece of artwork here. A5 drawing paper, um, uncoated sheets. Again, scroll box. It's pretty impressive that, that almost every month they seem to have something that's like customized to them because that would take a lot of planning in advance to do. Two boxes down, 10 to go. I'm gonna say, I reckon it's from June of 2020. That's my guess. And oh, I already love this. And it's February. I was wrong. It was February. Okay, so this this box is cute. I like this one already. Okay, oh, I got a gold coin. Ooh, anyone else love gold coins? It's gone. All, it's gone all gross because of the heat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat any of this stuff. They have some Stuart Semple, the world's glitteriest plant-based plant -based glitter. Got some Stuart Semple Dazzle Glitter. Got our little sticker. We have a set of four pit artist brush pens. Now this is actually gonna be a part of the giveaway because I have so many of these. Um, I really don't need any more. So I will give this to one of you alongside a bunch of the other art supplies that I get. They have a gold pencil here, scroller box plus vibe King, a 4B pencil. Then we also have a Uniball Signo pen. Uh, these are my favorite white pens. These white gel pens are beautiful as highlights over any form of ink. 100 degrees outside and I'm wearing a sweater, but I want it to be full. I want full weather to start happening, but it's just not. Okay, so next up we have a Stick It Sticky Glue Pen. Okay, so I'm guessing this is what you use to get the glitter onto whatever we're doing. Dries Clear Precision Sticky Glue Pen. Okay, that's pretty cool. Then you have this little sketchbook here, which is adorable. So you have this piece of artwork. I love that. I'm actually gonna probably put that on my wall, to be honest. I really like that a lot. We have some craft paper. This is obviously gonna be used to kind of basically use these pens on there because I love this kind of paper with markers. It looks so beautiful. And then obviously you must use these pens to add the glitter, I'm guessing. But yeah, this is a beautiful little box. How lovely is that presented? I really, that's really, really cute. All right, we're on box number four. Okay, so opening it up, ooh, okay. This one we have, so this is June. This would be from 2020. This is like the most famously used white gel pen, um, the Jelly Roll Secura pen. I personally have always preferred the Uniball ones personally, but these are also very, very good. We have a little paintbrush here, a Sea White pen, uh, paintbrush, some Karen Dash. Ooh, it's a Karen Dash pencil. This is the first one I've ever held, I think. A little sticker, and is that Chew It? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no! We have a Derwent Scrawler Box special color. Oh, so we have Derwent special color selection, especially for Scrawler Box. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh no. They're pastels. So this is how these look. This is very nice. You have this little set here of the pastels, I believe they are. Okay, then we have some. Oh, we have some paper here. It looks like watercolor paper, but I'm guessing it's some sort of mixed media paper. So yeah, June 2020, this is everything that you get. Oh, it's Alice! So this is Alice. I didn't actually realize this is Hello Alice's box. Um, this is all of, I didn't even know that was hers. So are these not pastels, are they watercolors? Okay, so these are multi-use blocks. Draw, scrape, wet, dry brush paint. So many different effects from one little box from one little block. See, I knew this was watercolor paper. That's why I was surprised. When I saw it was Alice, she's like, she specializes in watercolors. And this is the artwork. There we go. Okay, the next box. Let's see what this one is. I've got a feeling this one's gonna be really good. I also like that they don't really use plastic. And I don't know if that's like, because they are British boxes um, in, in Britain. If you don't sort of live there already or you've never been, they're actually very, very good about 
recycling. You have to actually physically buy your bags at the stores, so it kind of prevents you from wanting to buy them and bringing in your own reusable ones. Um, but yeah, I think they're also making all cars electric within like 10 years or something like that. July, wow, that was actually lucky. That was June and July of last year. So this is the design here. We'll look at that in a minute. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I'm just, I'm, you know what? I'm just making a mess of this, aren't I? <laughs> Okay, so in here, oh, there's a lot in here. We have a paintbrush, a number 10 paintbrush. We have a Derwent Sketching Dark Wash, a Derwent Sketching Medium Wash, that's 4B, if you know your pencils. We also have a liquid pencil. Okay, I feel like I've seen Rin use this for drawing with waffles. I feel like I've seen her use the liquid pencil before. Rewettable, so it's kind of like gouache then, so you can rewet it then. That is very cool. I've never actually used these or seen these before, but they look really neat. We have a very fancy looking eraser here, a water color pad. I really like the sizing of everything. Like you don't get full size, big sheets of paper, but you get nice small little ones, which is very cool. So this is 140 pounds, which means it's very, very nice and thick. There are so many different types of paper out there. It always amazes me. It's like, how do so many companies stay in business with all this different type of paper out there? Bon Bon Fin. I've actually never had one of these. I don't know what it is. And then the design. This one feels really jam packed, you know, really, really jam packed. I love this. I really love that they feature different artists from Instagram. I uh, see, with your help, we've planted over 100,000 trees. Oh my goodness. We made a pledge a while ago to reduce our carbon footprint and be more environmentally friendly in the way we do things. See, that's what I said. They're so environmentally friendly. This is wonderful. You know what, scroll box? You have my 100% support. This is wonderful. Well, so if you buy a scroll box, you're helping to plant a tree. And that's actually something that I am planning on doing myself with something that's coming out soon. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled. Now we're on to the next box. So in this one, there's a little, oh, it's a rose. Uh, we have a Derwent line maker, super fine, free flowing permanent liner. Paintbrush, it's not a corner thing. It's just a basic little paintbrush. A, a black currant and licorice. You know what, I swear I've definitely had these. I feel like my grandma or my great grandma had these. I'm sure she did, one of them did. We have liquid white colored pencil. This might be no good now because it was sat for so long. It looks like it's slight, you know what, it might be okay if I mix it and shake it. Kinda looks like off milk, you know, like curdled milk. But again, I didn't even know they made stuff like this, a liquid white colored pencil. I'm not sure why you would use this over an actual fine liner maybe, but that's that. You get more control maybe with a paintbrush, that's probably why. Okay, exclusive color selection for scroller box by Posca Pencil. Awesome, okay. Okay, so these are Posca pencils. I have never used Posca pencils before, but I know they're a semi-new thing. Look how beautiful this color selection is. That's very mermaid-like. I really like that. And you know what? This is also gonna be included in the giveaway. We have a Zion. Oh, this is actually May 2021. So when did I pick this up then? I must have picked it up in May or June. We have all the Posca markers, the liner, all that stuff. The scroller artist is up by Safana. Oh, look how beautiful. That is so cool. More featured artists. Oh, a rose, it's a purple rose, that's cute. And then we have a cartridge pad. What is a cartridge pad? I've never heard of that, it's very thin paper. It must be perfectly like used for pencils and things like that. Oh, this one is big. This one is very big. It's very thick. Oh, we've got a whole set in here. A graph graphite tint paint pan set. Muted colors with graphite sheen. This is cool. A unique blend of graphite paint with color for dramatic tonal work. Is this like the liquid pencil again, I wonder? Because that is a beautiful set. That is really nice. We have a Derwent graphite tint pencil in midnight black. A Memphis -y. Is this like minty? Okay, so then we have a little sticker. This is November, November of last year. We've got a scroll design here. So it's basically a watercolor, but very, very muted version of it. Very cool. And then we have, oh, that's very neat. And we also have the Langton mold made watercolor paper. Again, there's so many different kinds of paper and watercolor paper. I'm just amazed how it all's like in existence, how it all sells. This is so cool. I have so many different watercolor pads now. Okay, number seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, eight, number eight. This one's kind of had, he's kind of, he's at his day. Got Faber-Castell watercolor marker. Ooh, I didn't know they made watercolor markers. Oh, <gasps> 
That's cool. It's like a brush and a nib. And then we also have Faber-Castell Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue, I always think of Bob Ross there. We have a something, a banana split, a clair banana. Yuck. Derwent sketching. Then we have a Pro Art Polar White Nylon. An Albrecht Dura Magnus Faber-Castell pencil. I don't know what the difference is between thick pencils versus the thinner ones, but there's that. This is, oh, this is cute. This is lovely. This is by Angelica Schult. Okay, this is April 2020. Oh, I got two, I got two stickers. I feel special. I love the colors in this one too. Design here. Oh, these are cute. They're all like the same colors. Very pretty. Oh, you know what? These are from their previous boxes. I've just, just realized these are from their previous boxes. And then we've got an A5 watercolor paper pad. Some more watercolors. So basically these boxes are very heavily pencil, watercolor, and marker based. And I was actually due to do a box with them at one point. Um, but again, I never kind of got around to it because I was so busy at the time. Oh, I got two sweets in this one. Probably January of this year. Okay, so this is a Choco Mint. Ooh, that looks delicious. And a refresher, original lemon flavor. This has gotten very, very squished in the heat. Uh, Millennium Zig Memory System Cure Attack Acid Free. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a really fine liner. Ooh, see, I love mints and blues. These are such a beautiful combination together. These are by Tombow ABT Pro. I didn't know they did these. I don't know. What the, ooh, it's got a chisel nib. These are so nice. These are really, really nice. So we have them in, they don't have colors, just numbers. P528, P312, and PN75. They have, oh, they got a black wing pencil. That looks so nice. And then we have our Zine here. Okay, January 2021 some cool artwork. So a little, oh, is this a little notebook? Oh yeah, look with some custom paper in it. These boxes are all so good. I don't know which one's my favorite, although I feel like I really, really like the Posca one, the first one I opened. I feel like that might be my favorite box so far. Okay, we're gonna open up this box now. This is one of three we have left. Everything's fallen out and that was not the box company. This is just the mail. Um, this, oh, this is from August 2020. Okay, it's not that old. Well, actually it's a year old. <sighs> Where's the time? I'm gonna be 80 before I know it. Okay, so this one, we have some paint here. We have some magenta, Dela and Rowney, some process blue and some lemon yellow. I'm guessing this is, um, okay, heavy body acrylic, thick, nice paint. We have a sticker, a Christel Faber-Castell 2B pencil, Pro Art Series 60 paintbrush. Ooh, what is this? Palette knife, oh, palette knife card. That is so cool, they added that in. That's, oh, oh. <gasps> so it's supposed to be kind of thicker, thicker paint, and you are able to thicken it up. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And then we have a palette thing here. These are thicker, so these are what you use to kind of scrape stuff on here. Can't believe this box is a year old. What has happened to this year? Okay, we have two left, two boxes, two left, that's it. Okay, so it's actually a little bit later now. Um, the reason I haven't finished opening the last two boxes is because my dog did a Houdini and escaped his crate and decided to just run off and, and crap on the floor. Anyway, we have two boxes left remaining. I'm super excited to see what is inside of these ones. So we have in this one, this is a wide one. Oh, you know what? This was the box I was supposed to do with them, I think. I was gonna do an acrylic paint box and they did tell me February, I think, is what they said. This was supposed to be like a box I was working on with them because I'd mentioned acrylic paint to them. But we have some acrylic paint. Um, this is matte soft body paint, blue indigo. We have titanium white. And we also have Cadmium Red Hue. Now I have not used this particular brand, um, but I've heard really amazing things about it. And I love acrylic paint, so this is really cool to see. We've got a little, little sticker here. We also have an acrylic paint marker. We also have a ginormous pencil here. This is a Koinor Magic Pencil. I've not actually watched a video of someone trying these before. I've just seen video thumbnails of people trying these pencils and I'm always like, I wonder if that's any good, but I'm not like invested enough to knowing enough to watch the video to find out. We have a little paintbrush. This is a pro art, um, just a, a basic paintbrush there. We have popping candy. We've got popping candy. This is the best thing yet.
Oh, there's like 15 million ingredients in this. Okay, so we have a February box here. Okay, we have a scroll design. I wonder if there's a featured artist on this one. That is Julian Reynard. Reynard, this is really nice. And then we have, oh, we got some awesome abstract art from this artist. And then last but not least, we have some acrylic paper. Oh, I love acrylic paper so much. I'm sorry, I'm keeping this for myself, but this is awesome. This is so cool. I love that, love that. That is now my favorite box because it's most me. We are finally on the very, very last box. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how good this actually is. Ooh. You know what? This one, I wouldn't really like headed then. I wonder if it's the popping candy. But it's another paint box. I think it's, I think it's, a, um, I think it's watercolor this one. Cause I see these little brush. That is a monstrosity of a brush. Damn, that is a big, that is a big water brush. These are fun though. I don't know if you most likely are familiar with these, but if you're not, these are basically really cool because the chamber, you unscrew it, you fill it with water and then you squeeze it as you're using it. And basically when you're using watercolor, it's a way to kind of keep rinsing your brush without actually having to put it in water. And it adds more or less water to the watercolor depending on kind of what you're using. Sticky toffee pudding. It's very sticky and very toffee. And unfortunately, I don't think I can eat that either. But we have, oh, we have some Dahlia and Rowney Aquafine watercolors. So I personally, I'm curious, do you prefer watercolors in a dry pan set or do you prefer kind of liquid already liquefied watercolors. I'm curious because I think these tend to last longer. A little bit goes a really long way with these kind of things. They're very, very pigmented. Got dark green, ultramarine, blue, dark, lemon, yellow. We have a white. We have, what else do we have? We have a red. We also have a raw sienna as well. So that's a nice combination. You have all of the primary colors, um, which is nice. A white pencil. This is by West designed for films, plastics, china, and glass. That's interesting. We also have a black one too. We have our school design. This is from April, 2021. This is the last one I've picked up. Flamingos and a baby flamingo, very cute. And last but not least, we have an A5 watercolor paper, cold pressed, eight sheets. Just, just, just listen. That's, that's nice paper. That is everything in all of the boxes now. So let me know which box out of all of those was your favorite. I just wanna say a massive thank you once again to Schooler Box for sending these to me because this is so incredibly generous and I am once again very, very sorry that I've only just seen them literally today. Time to show you the items I'm gonna be doing for the giveaway. So let me just go through my supplies and check what I'm gonna be giving away and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so this is everything that I'm going to be giving away. So you have some markers, you have some pencils, you have the liquid pencils, some watercolors there, the Posca pencils, these chalk watercolor sticks, you have some markers, some more pencils, you have the graphite paint set, paint brushes, some Tombow markers, I've also given you three different pads, the watercolor paper, the drawing paper, and some more watercolor paper, an acrylic paint marker, and also this create more little sketchbook. So yeah, this is everything that you can win if you would like to. Then to enter, all you need to do is leave a comment down below. Like this video, tell me which box was your favorite out of all of these. And if you want another entry, feel free to follow me over on Instagram and I'll post a picture of this probably sometime this week. So yeah, keep an eye out. So thank you so incredibly much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. My videos are now going to be going live on Mondays at 3 p.m. EST. I'm gonna test out this schedule, yeah, every week. Monday, 3 p.m. EST. Be there or be square or be a circle, whatever you're feeling like. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.